Um, what do you make of the criticism now that's being levied against the Conservatives about how Zach Goldsmith's campaign has been run? Well, good morning. Uh, when, you, when you lose an election, of course, there are always people pointing the finger of blame as to why exactly you lost. I think the important thing now is uh, for all of us to congratulate Sadiq Khan. He won the election with a, with a majority and we look forward as a government now to working with him to continuing Boris Johnson's legacy of investing in London and its housing, its, its transport, in what is now one of the great capital cities of the world. So it's easy to criticise a campaign. Um, mm. People very close to Zach Goldsmith, including his sister, have said that the way the campaign was run did not reflect in the personality of the candidate. Something's gone wrong here. Well, Zach Goldsmith did put forward policies on uh, uh, increasing the uh, housing that's available to London and improve, further improving transport, spending more on that, cleaning up the air with tougher curbs on HGVs. So he did put forward a Conservative uh, manifesto, but in the end, Sadiq won it. Um, so I think now is the time to draw a line, to congratulate him and to say how important it is that Sadiq Khan, as the new Mayor of London, works with a Conservative government to continue investing in London for the benefit of all Londoners. Was that Goldsmith also responsible for getting people like yourself on board um, with quotes such as, and I do quote you, um, Mr Khan is a Labour lackey who speaks alongside extremists? In the rough and tumble of elections, yes, you get stuff said, questions asked. I think it's right that candidates for some of the most important offices in Britain do get scrutinised about their past associations, do get properly questioned about their policy positions. But he answered those questions. The election is over now. He won it. And we want to work with him as the new mayor of London to continue the success of our great capital city. You said you can't trust him with um, the country's security. You can't trust him with London security. Do you now all of a sudden trust him? Well, we wanted Zach Goldsmith to win. He was the Conservative uh, candidate. We'd have preferred Zach Goldsmith to win. But the people have decided. The votes have, have been counted. The election is over now. And we will work with him, with the Home Secretary, with the Metropolitan Police, to continue as a Conservative government to keep this country safe. But you said you didn't trust him. Do you trust him now? He is now the London Mayor. He is, exactly. He's been elected now. The people have spoken. So we will work with him to keep London safe. Do you trust him to keep London safe? Yes, we, we trust him to work, I hope, with the Conservative government to keep London as safe as we can. That means working with the Home Secretary, with the Metropolitan Police, with the security services to do what we all can to keep this country and its Londoners safe. Can we talk about Conservative policy now, um, please, Michael Fallon? Um, we've seen that there's been a U-turn on academies, on the, on the creation of cad academies. This has just come through yesterday. Interesting day for this to be announced amid all the um, local election results. Why was that timed as such? Because you can't announce these uh, policy uh, uh, decisions during a local election campaign. You're not allowed to do that in any of the, uh, the big departments. So this was the first opportunity for Nikki Morgan to go out and explain the uh, policy direction. And she did that. It wasn't hidden away. She went out and did uh, in media interviews and explained that we're keeping the goal, the ambition, of uh, turning all schools into academies, which have been so successful, but we're approaching it by a different route now, that we don't have to force every school to do it by legislation. We'll be working with the smaller rural schools in particular, but the aim is still that schools will become academies over the next five to six years. Uh, many would say that the Conservative government has been categorised by U-turns of late. We've had this U-turn on academies, there's been a U-turn on disability cuts, and and there's been a U-turn on the decision to take unaccompanied refugee children to take more into the UK. Um, you're not sticking by your decisions and the decisions that you're uh, putting out very vehemently in the run-up to a U-turn. Well, it isn't a U-turn on academies. That is still the goal, the ambition, to turn all schools into academies over the next five to six years. What's uh, changed now is that we're choosing a different route, that you don't have to legislate and compel schools to change over uh, immediately if they're already successful. But on your bigger point, government should listen. That's the whole point of being in government. That's the whole point of parliament. We've listened to parents. We've listened to governors. We've listened to uh, uh, other opinion on some of these policies. And yes, we've listened and uh, we've adjusted the policy accordingly. That's part of democracy. That's what parliament is there for.